CBDC will arrive and it will also be the subject of the currency reset at the same time. Um, at some point, the, the, well, the world is going to go into a crisis or a country is going to go into a crisis. It might be the UK, it might be Italy, it might even be the United States, but something is going to happen. Things are very, very taut in the financial world at the moment. Um, when that happens, I think they will close the banks. You'll wake up on a Sunday afternoon or uh, Sunday morning and say and hear the news that they've shut the banks, not going to open on Monday. And then by Monday evening or Tuesday, you'll get the announcement that we're having a new currency, the CBDC. And don't worry, it'll be one to one against the old currency. Uh, but there will be some restrictions on your ability to convert your old money into the new money. So if you're poor and you have a small bank account, it'll be converted one to one straight away. Um, so will, uh, and you'll probably even find that you get a free gift from the government to get kickstart the system. Maybe three or five thousand pounds will be given to every citizen gratuitously to kickstart the system in the new CBDC. But if you have a hundred thousand or a million in the bank, you're going to be told, yes, it's one to one, but you're going to have to wait to convert it to the new currency. Now, wait means never. We all know that. Uh, but they won't tell you that. They'll say it's a temporary suspension because we're in the middle of a crisis. The people are rioting in the streets. And we need to calm the system. So here's some free money, everybody. Go and enjoy yourselves. And by the way, the rich can't convert their money for a while, uh, but they'll be able to do so later. So if you happen to own Apple bonds, they'll be de denominated in the old dollars. You won't be able to, it'd still be old dollars. You won't be able to convert those old dollars until you've got the cash. But when you get the cash, you'll need permission to do it. And you're not going to get that. Welcome permission. back, everybody, to WWTA News. I'd like to thank you again for returning back for another episode. Well, obviously, we've got some things to talk about today. And it's very interesting. Very interesting. If you're in the space and you're being patient like you should be, then this news is going to be great for you. You're going to be excited, so let's jump into the news. Our first article is going to be from Decrypt. It says, Brazil legalizes crypto as a method of payment. Method of payment. We knew this was coming. It's coming to all countries. We knew it was coming, right? You knew it was coming, right? You keep up with the channel. You knew it was coming. This article says Brazil has not designated Bitcoin as legal tender, but it did the next best thing. It passed a law legalizing cryptocurrencies as means of payment throughout the country, giving a regulatory boost to the adoption of digital currencies and the expansion of the ecosystem. Now, why is this wonderful news? Why is this wonderful news? Because this means that more people in this country will be able to use cryptocurrencies, which means they have to onboard their currency to gain access to cryptocurrency so that they can make business simpler, smarter, and easier. And they're going to do it because it's simpler, smarter, and easier. So that means businesses are going to be using this technology in Brazil. Customers in the retail market in Brazil. Banks in that market in Brazil. They're going to use it because it makes things smarter and easier. I mean, and more efficient. Mind blowing. This is just major, right? It goes on to say the document signed under code PL4401 forward slash 2021 provides for the inclusion of virtual currencies and frequent traveler rewards from airlines, the popular miles. In the definition of payment agreements, under the supervision of the country's central bank, uh, the law, which is already approved and only requires the signature of the president of the republic to be enacted, gives legal status to payments in cryptocurrencies for goods and services, uh, but does not grant them the status of legal tender. So it's not making it legal tender. It's just making it usable for payments so that way they're not ruffling any feathers and stepping on any toes but it just say so this way el salvador basically put up bitcoin 
as a contender against the U.S. dollar. That's all that happened when they made it legal tender, which opens up the door for a lot of countries to say, okay, well, if this is legal tender, we don't need to deal with the U.S. dollar, which is coming anyway. All right. Don't blame me. Blame the system. So in them not making legal tender, they didn't have to step on any toes. They did make it legal to use cryptocurrency for payment. And that's what's really going to help us grow uh, value in this market. So I know you're like, oh, my God, the markets are down. It's ugly. Be patient. All these countries are falling in suit and we're going to see some major moves coming in the near future. You know, and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm reading an article. And as I read these articles, I'm just using my mind and saying, wow, you know what will happen if that happens. You know, it's the same thing you guys can do. It's nothing special. We got another article that says Coinbase Wallet delist XRP, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum Classic. Ooh, big deal, right? In a Tuesday announcement, America's biggest exchange said that from January 23rd, it would no longer support Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum Classic, ripple or stellar on the coinbase wallet coinbase said the move was due to low usage of the assets on the platform coinbase wallet is a self-custody mobile app similar to other software uh such as metamask uh though with a wider array of support for crypto assets look ooh, right i know people are going crazy don't go crazy over this listen Coinbase has a wallet. They have an exchange. They also have a wallet. On that wallet, it pretty much uses Ethereum-based currencies, all right? Ethereum Classic, it's not really used. No need for it. Bitcoin Cash, not really used. No need for it. Ripple, well, it got X'd out of that whole system, so it wasn't being used for a long time. And XR, uh, excuse me, and XLM, it's just not used. Nobody stores those currencies in that wallet, so there's really no need for them to have those currencies available on that wallet really no need Woo, you know what i'm saying nothing's going anywhere nothing's uh, uh being downplayed there's nothing crazy happening it's just cleaning house okay you know it's just when you do your spring cleaning it's like oh i don't use that let me get rid of that that's all it is and there's so many apps for different things like xrp the Zum wallet um and in other places you can find a store xrp you know what i'm saying um xlm no different you can store these things so nothing big nothing major nothing crazy all right now another one from decryptus says from usdd stablecoin to dominica tron's road ahead what is going on with tron making these major major moves well this article says sun is a big fan of el salvador's bitcoin experiment in september 2021 the central american country became the first state to introduce a cryptocurrency as legal tender and that they did but the results have been mixed. A lack of efficient infrastructure and Bitcoin's volatility means that transactions made in the cryptocurrency remain pitifully low. For Sun, the solution to the issues that have confronted El Salvador is obvious. Build on the Tron network. Announced in October, Tron's partnership with Dominica will allow the Caribbean island state to issue a national digital currency, the DMC token as legal tender you see it doesn't matter this is happening whether you like it or not pay attention i'm just reading a basket of other cryptocurrencies including usdd and other stable coins will be tradable too this is the first country sponsored token in the space issued by the government says sun he adds that the token will incorporate a digital ID with the potential to open all manner of crypto applications, including passport free travel, registering for services and paying bills digitally. The DMC token and the DMC digital ID project we are doing with the Dominica government means the region can really become the future hub for Web3, says Justin Sun. Looking at this, it's just like, wow, all right? Whether we believe it or not, it doesn't matter. These things are happening. So if you're in the space and you're looking at the market saying everything is tough, nothing's looking good, it's behind the scenes. We have to go through all these articles to dig for this information, for this stuff sitting behind the scenes. It's behind the scenes. Do not fret. Do not worry. Do not be concerned. Just be prepared for these things. We're going to see some major changes. They're happening now. We've been reading about them. 
But we're going to see major changes continuing to the close out of this year, going into next year, and we might, we might see a value increase next year. Maybe the first three months of next year, we'll see some uh, major value increases. All I know is I'm watching it. I'm reading these articles. I'm sharing it with you all. I hope you all gain value. I hope you all are able to use this information to help your family, friends, and loved ones move forward uh, uh, to a better place in the future. Do what you got to do. I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. You came here to get news. I shared some news. You guys talk about it. Get in the comments section below. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Thank you.